What's going on guys, it's Grenny here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video guys, we'll be looking at the death cross. Is the bull market over? Should you be selling all your bags or should you be accumulating if we see another dip? Your questions are answered in this video. Don't forget to subscribe down below guys. Smash the like button as well because it genuinely does help the channel grow and I really do appreciate it. Don't forget to check out my trading group where we're trading these macro swings, okay, these micro swings using futures, but we also take some meme coin swing trades every single day. So check it out using the WAP.com link in the description below. And obviously, if you want to support the channel, guys, you can become a YouTube member by signing up in the description below as well. Here's the video. The death cross, guys. A lot of people are talking about it right now. And here it is on the screen. Essentially, it's just the moving averages of the 50 day and the 200 day on a daily uh, chart of Bitcoin, guys. And as you can see, it is when the 200 day crosses above the 50 day, which is in theory, very bearish. However, what we're going to look at in this video, guys, is some analysis on why I still remain bullish until certain levels and why this might be an opportunity for you. And anytime you see a big dip during a bull market, it leads to greater buying opportunities than um, other alternatives, guys. So for me, guys, one of the best lessons I've learned over the last nine years in crypto is to buy fear. And so when we did dip down here to the 49K region, I bought a lot of Bitcoin and I bought a lot of Solana. I think Solana was about $112. And so as you can see, I'm already up quite a lot from that swing trade. So if I wanted to, I could obviously take 20% off the table. Um, however, guys, I'm holding this longer term because we are still very much in a bull market. So if we do look, guys, not only are we, yes, hitting a death cross, which is obviously a bearish indicator, we've actually got several bullish indicators forming. We actually have bullish divergence, okay? So down on the RSI, which I'll show shortly, you will actually see that we do have bullish divergence. This is actually a bull flag. So price, okay, runs up like this, okay, consolidates like this, setting high, uh, lower highs and lower lows. But eventually, guys, traditionally, and a higher probability of this chart price action being a bull flag. So again, I remain bullish. If we do look previously, guys, we have actually already had a death cross this cycle. So coming back here to September last year, all the way to October, guys, we actually had another death cross. And what happened then? We consolidated. Okay, we obviously saw price come down. Okay, we retouched this support and then we actually broke through uh, these levels and obviously that led to a beautiful golden cross yet again. And let's have a look again, guys. We have had multiple touches of these trend lines as support throughout a bull cycle this year, all the way back from the lows of last year. Um, so guys, death crosses, yes, it might be bearish in the short term, but guys, we have them all the time. Look at this here. Last cycle, we had a death cross yet again. So we had price moved down quite aggressively, okay? We had a death cross. We accumulated for a bit. We held price around these levels. We consolidated. We pumped back up. Okay, we retested these moving averages. We broke above. We retested it, retested it, broke back down very quickly, and then shot back up and made that really higher high. Okay, so that double top here, one and two. Um, and what you saw is that we broke back above and had a golden cross. Okay, so bear opportunities, uh, death crosses, let's call it what its actual name is, are opportunities in my opinion because we are still very much in a bull market. If we do compare, guys, some previous bull markets, we are still very early. So this um, market analysis here shows you bull market comparison over the past four cycles. So the red obviously being 2013, blue 2017, green 2021, and purple 2024. And what you can see is that we are still only within the top 120 days of this cycle. So as you can see, we are starting to reach levels of parabolic sort of price action in the coming months. So you just have to stay patient, guys. And as I said at the top of this video, anytime you see Bitcoin re-reach these levels, and if I do zoom out, guys, because it is always, it does pay to zoom out, Okay, price can't always go up, guys. Okay, price cannot always go up. So you wanted to healthily consolidate after a massive move up. Okay, and from August last year, guys, we moved up over 2x on Bitcoin alone. Solana went up like 10x, guys. So for me, this is healthy consolidation. Okay, and what we are actually seeing currently is that despite on the daily timeframes, we're seeing a death cross. 
This is a bull flag, guys. We have bullish divergence. We actually had the hash ribbons buy indicator come in. And traditionally, that hits at about a 80% chance or probability, sorry, is a better word, of a macro low being formed. And obviously, the last one that we saw last cycle timed this low here, and we obviously moved up over a 2x. This one here also timed the bottom of this range at 16K. And obviously, guys, it timed this one here at the bottom of 31K last cycle when we had a similar event to what we're experiencing now. So again, for me, guys, I remain bullish. The last one, guys, is, as I said before, we are starting to form a potential bullish divergence. Bullish divergence is where price is lower, lower. So it has a lower low, okay, a lower low there as well. But we're setting higher lows on RSI indicators, which is a lagging indicator. However, is showing me bullish potential hidden divergence, guys. So again, I remain extremely bullish no matter what people say on the timeline, no matter how many death cross things you say is, it's, oh, greeny, it's the end of the world, okay? We are still very much in a good level of accumulation, guys. And if we do, obviously we targeted this liquidity down here. And months ago, I did say these levels here at $49,000 and $48,000 is a potential for liquidity grabbing event because we hadn't revisited that price yet. And there are lots of obviously stop losses down here. There's a lot of entries down here. So it was no surprise that we obviously grabbed that liquidity down the bottom there. And what I would say, guys, is that if we do see one more opportunity, whether it's due to uh, macro conditions being more bearish or we see obviously politics come into it or obviously we see some more wars and fights going around the world, then I'll be looking to DCA into the dip. And for me, guys, there's liquidity down here at about the 40K region, okay, this liquidity here would be probably the last dip that I would like to see um, be accumulated if we do see it, and I do have some liquidity on the tables. So if we do see a dip down to this level, I would likely buy it, and then that would be my last level of sort of bullishness. So if we do close anywhere sort of below this liquidity, guys, so any daily closures below 40K, that's where I would say, okay, I'm now bearish, okay? So I hope this video gives you a bit of insight into what I'm currently looking at in terms of the death cross, in terms of bullish price action, levels of uh, invalidation. So for me, breaking below this and closing a daily candle below 40K is probably where I would say, okay, Greeny, the top is likely in for a very long time, okay? But guys, I still remain very bullish here. Even if we were to do something like this for months and months until late or mid next year, I could still say this is still a very bullish structure, guys. So for me, I remain very patient. I will accumulate any more dips that we see in this bull market. And if we don't see it and we do move up, guys, then amazing. I do have my spot bags ready from accumulation last year during these lows. And I hope that gives you a bit of insight into what I'm currently looking at and some quick analysis on what the death course actually means in comparison with obviously the hash ribbon by indicator, a bull flag, hidden bullish divergence and on-chain statistics, as well as being very much still early in this bull market. If you have any questions, let me know in the description below and I'll be more than happy to help you out. Cheers. So there you have it guys, the death cross. Is it good, is it bad? Price will tell us in the coming weeks. As always, please subscribe down below. Don't forget to smash the like button as well guys because it helps the channel grow and I really do appreciate it. Don't forget out to check out my trading group in the description below. And also if you'd like to support the channel further and get access to these videos before the public, become a YouTube member signing up in the description below. As always guys, take care and I'll see you in the next one.